Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're just going to be going through a problem that we came across on our Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, when we hooked it up to the TV and got our wireless keyboard and mouse in there, we did find that the mouse was a little bit laggy. And so um, what we had to do was make some changes and today we're going to be showing you what you need to do. Okay, so um, first of all what you need to do is open up your terminal session and we've got a little terminal session here and in that you need to open the command line.txt so what you can do I'll put all these commands down in the text file so you can just copy and paste them so if you select that and paste it into your terminal window hit return what you get is this big long line of text that you get in your uh, config.txt file so what you need to do is go to the end of that long line by pressing the end on your keyboard or just use your cursor keys and scroll all the way to the end and then this is the command that we want to put in so it's usb hid dot mouse pole equals zero I think it ranges from zero to eight eight being the longest time to pull the mouse and zero being the quickest time to pull the mouse I've always also seen people put in there that you can use zero and you can use one as well but I think zero is the uh, is the fastest that you get on the scale so all you need to do is type that in the end or what we're going to do is just copy go into our terminal window um, make sure we've got a space in there and then paste that text into there so now we've got the text in there all we need to do is press uh, Control X which is for exit it will ask you if you want to save hit Y for yes and then the file name to write to is the original file name so just hit enter and then that's done so all you need to do now is to reboot your Raspberry Pi and, uh, and it should come back nice and fast. So in your terminal, you can uh, enter reboot or you can do it through the menu. So we'll just enter reboot and that will go down now. So as we wait for the Pi to come back up, it will be back up in a few seconds. Here's the booting screen. Should get our Raspberry Pi logos, which you can see and then it should start to boot into Raspberry and desktop. While that's coming up, if this was useful for you guys, we're gonna be doing more Raspberry Pi videos, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Hitting the like really does help us out as we start to build our channel. Um, and the subscribe so you can be notified of any further gaming or Raspberry Pi stuff we're doing. Gonna have a lot of um, Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi, um, reviews coming up so we're going to be looking at the new Raspberry Pi 4 and how that performs with, with uh, Retro Pi so keep a watch out for those guys. So now we're back up in uh, Raspberry and desktop and yep my mouse is nice and quick. Uh, the lag has gone and it just works like a standard mouse now so that's great. The other thing that you can also check as well is if you go into preferences you can go to keyboard and mouse and the other thing that I've done is just to up the acceleration on the uh, on the mouse so you can see I think it's usually about five on there I've upped it to 7.5 it just makes it feel a bit more responsive and allows you to get all the way across the screen a bit quicker so that's also something to check out so it's a, an extra little tip for you as well after you've done the uh, the fix for the laggy mouse that's it for today guys all we've got to show you like I say keep a look out for more videos thanks for watching if you found it useful hit that like button for us and if you do want to be updated on all our new videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell see you on the next one